Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming. I want to do a video for The Walking Dead, No Man's Land. And this is Episode 1, Road to Terminus, Stage Number 7. And this is the boss stage. There's no boss here, but it's the deadly mission. It's equivalent to a boss stage. So we'll call it that. And in this particular mission, you can't take three survivors. You have to only take two. And the recommended level is level three. And I don't have a level three, so I'm going to bring two level twos and just see if I've got enough firepower in order to take that down, even though it's not meeting the recommended level. So I am going to start out. You can see there's three walkers visible once you start out the level. As soon as you move, a fourth walker becomes visible down there. And I'm just going to move both of these guys here and take out the first walker. And what that's going to do is that's going to pull the other two. So one is level two, one's level three. So I'm going to use uh, Dean, who hits a little bit harder. He's got a little nicer weapon. And Dean gets a critical hit there. It stuns him. And then Joel takes out the other guy. And then we'll go ahead and finish off the uh, the stunned walker. So now we got a level three that we know is around the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and move Dean around the corner and go ahead and get that... Uh, shot in there and if you notice dean when he hits he stuns because he's got that blunt weapon he's got that pipe so that's a, a pretty good tool there and we'll move the crate out of the way and you can see the objective uh is to scout the area and now that we know there's survivors up here in this uh this little cart um the goal is to rescue the survivors but the key is going to be how we get to them without uh dying to these walkers so these are two level three walkers so i'm just going to go up with dean and because I have that blunt weapon, I can go ahead and stun one, and I'll go up with Joel, and we take the other one down. And we've got both the walkers out of the way here, so that's good stuff. So now what we can do is uh, move over and get these survivors out of here. I'm going to move slowly just to make sure there's uh, no walkers are going to appear. So you can see we got Jeffrey, who is a hunter. And the nice thing about these hunters is that... Uh, you can shoot from a long ways away, and he just took out two walkers with a long shot there, so pretty nice. And we still got one walker here. This is going to be in our way, but the goal has changed to go to the exit. So now it's just a matter of sliding these guys over to get them out the door. So we got those two spaces occupied. We'll just move down here and move over to the blue. So that gets us through it, gets us back to our uh, crates so we can get our bonus loot. Oh, looks like we got uh, Jeffrey. So what we have to do is we have to manage, and I'm going to keep him because I do want a hunter. And I have Anne, who's a one star. I did level her up to level two, but I think I'm going to get rid of Anne and go ahead and bring on the um, the new guy because those hunter, hunters look a little powerful there. So we freed up that spot, so we'll bring Jeffrey on board. And no bonus crates there. I guess on the bonus level there aren't. Okay, we just learned something new. All right, everyone, that is the end of episode number one. So we will move forward to episode number two in some future videos. You can see a little bit of the storyline there. Uh, Daryl says he has to split. And uh, looks like um, we've got a military base that we can loot to get some basic armor and some other items as well too so stay tuned look for more videos i'll have more tutorials up maybe uh, even check out how to set up a guild soon so thanks for watching talk to you soon peace